Today, we're going to try heating up this shop for under $100. Before we get started, I just want you to know that I'm not sponsoring this company or any company in this video. Um, this is a Comfort Zone forced air heating system. It's a 5,000 watt unit. I bought it on Wayfair with the 10% off coupon. It was just under $100. Um, the size of the shop is 18 by 20 um, with about a nine and a half foot ceiling. My goal in this video is not to show you how to install this unit. There are other people on YouTube that do that. Um, what I want to do is I want to, once it's installed, I want to test the efficiency of this unit. And to do that, I have a few digital thermometers and I want to run time tests to see how long it takes to get the temperature to rise in here. If the temperature rises to a point where it's comfortable in here, then I guess I got a great deal on this unit. If it doesn't, well then I guess at least I tried. All right, we are all installed, so let's start running some tests. These are the two digital thermometers I'm using, um, and they are within a half of a degree of each other, so that's pretty good for what we're gonna do here. So I put one at a little bit of a higher elevation. That's about six feet up. Um, and then I left one on a workbench, which is about almost four feet, maybe a little bit less. So uh, let's, see, let's see what temperatures we come up with. We'll try back here in 15 minutes. So we are at the opposite corner of the garage and 15 minutes later and we increased about two degrees um, from what we had 15 minutes ago and this is at the lower elevation at about four feet. Now at six feet it looks like we've improved about seven and a half almost eight degrees. So let's see how much further we get in the next 15 minutes. All right, another 15 minutes has gone by. So a total of 30 minutes later, and we're at 54 degrees. So we've gone up almost five degrees on the lower, lower elevated one. We're at 63 degrees exactly. So that's pretty good. So these are my final results after about an hour and 10 minutes. What is the verdict then? Well, from here up, it's pretty comfortable. From the waist down, it's a little chilly. And partially to blame is the fact that I don't have an insulated garage door and, I, and one of the exterior walls is not insulated. So that definitely is a factor. Um, overall, it's not a bad unit. The only thing I wasn't expecting is it, it does take a little bit longer than I thought to heat this room up. I would say it took about a good hour to get it comfortable in here. Um, but I spent under $100 and it's going to get the job done and it's going to make my work in here in the winter uh, less painful. Um, if you are expecting to uh, warm, this, warm your workspace up as if you were inside your home, this is not the unit for you. I would definitely would, would spend more money buy something bigger, more powerful. But if you're on a budget like I am and you're patient enough to wait around for an hour until it's, it, it's good to go and, and you're comfortable, then I think you'll be happy with this. I hope you like this video. Um, if you're interested in like woodworking and DIY stuff, I have a lot of other videos on my channel. Um, feel free to check them out. And if you like them, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, and you'll be notified when I post new videos. Thanks again and have a great day.